All right, guys, it is festival season here in the Coastal Bend, and one that we are totally looking forward to is the Jewish Food Festival. This is going to be such a great event. I have Miss Ricky here with us to talk more about what to expect. You can see some delicious items in front of us. Ricky, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Of course. First, let's talk about the history of the Jewish Food Festival. How long has this been going on? This is our 38th annual festival. It started out as a little freezer sale, mm -hmm. and then someone said, why don't we serve sandwiches at pickup? And it has turned into a behemoth of an event. We will have live music on Saturday night with Shayna Sands and Love on Sunday her. the violinist Jonathan Conyers and we have a vintage sale where we have gently used uh, high-end items that are donated by our congregants for sale. We also have a silent auction with an array of um, items from restaurants, electronics, but the main attraction is the food. <laughs> As you can see here, yes. it looks and smells delicious. Now this isn't going to make it back because I'm going to eat all That's of right. it. That's right. I bring enough to leave. <laughs> so it's an opportunity to try something new, get out of your comfort zone, learn about the Jewish community and about the food. So what do we have in front of us today? What are we looking at? Today are a few samples and this is our cabbage rolls. This is our best seller. Mm -hmm. It's a, a meatball with spices in it uh, wrapped in cabbage yeah. leaves with some yummy sauce and this is not the proper s sample but I wanted to bring enough for the studio. Okay. This is one of my favorites. It's called Kugel, Kugel and it is a it's like a mac and cheese but sweet with cottage cheese and sour cream. It's okay. one of my favorites. Can't wait to try it. Looks like it has frosted flakes on top of it. it, looks it so does. interesting. Okay. And, and what then do we have a, um, what I really love the most about our congregation and this festival is that we all come together in our, our little groups and we make these foods. A group nice. of people made this, a group of people made that. And then we have groups that make the matzah bark, the mandel bread, our challah, and this is a cream cheese bundt cake. And we also have a sweet shop with just an array of sweets. Love that. So everybody coming together, which means you're gonna get those mom and pop recipes, which you cannot beat those. You can't buy those in the grocery store. And why do we have like a regular bagel here? What's the significance of this? What's a Jewish festival without a bagel? Without a good old bagel. I I love that. So these earrings aren't going to make it because I'm going to take these today. However, talk to me about what the cause is for all of this. Obviously, we want to bring the community together, give them a space, safe space to enjoy themselves, which we will have security and all that yes, available, we, right? We, ha we do have uniformed officers on awesome. duty for and directing the traffic because mm -hmm. it, it can get a little treacherous in the <laughs> traffic. But um, we just have, we are so thankful for the Corpus Christi community that's mm -hmm. come out and support our congregation for this is our only fundraiser of the year and we donate a large portion back to our congregation awesome. for uh, operating expenses and of course. Yeah, other I mean, projects. It takes money to keep things rolling and That's it, right. clearly this festival is done really, really well. It's great for the community to come together and what does it cost to get into the festival? The, the admission is free, um, just the cost of the food Okay. and um, and the vintage silent auction items. Very, very cool. So lots to look forward to, lots of ways to give back and I know personally as a mom, sometimes we're cooped up in the house on the weekends and I'm like I wish there was just a way to get out do something that isn't going to cost you know an arm and a, and a leg and in this case I mean it may cost you a little full belly but that's about it so we hope to see you guys out let's go over the details one more time it's uh, November 11th mm -hmm. from 5 to 9 November 12th 11 to 2 and I also need to mention we have face painting and balloon artist for the kiddos awesome and tours if you want to check out the community you can do that as well fun for the whole family we'll see you out there thank you so much thank you